This is a follow-up video of the radio frequency ablation I showed last time. You're a star. We showed your radio frequency ablation procedure. Yes. Okay, and um, you came to me with very big neuromas down there. We could feel them. We could touch them. You already had neuroma surgery right here. We could take a look at that scar. Um, neuroma surgery right here. She already had it already before you met me. Yes, years and, ago. And um, but it grew back. So you had a lot of pain down here before. Wow, nice. You don't feel any. So before you had the radio frequency ablation for people that are watching, how much pain did you have? I had a lot of pain walking, standing. It was very, very uncomfortable. I couldn't wear many of my shoes. Okay. Now the the inquirer mind wants to know how much pain relief did you get after the first session? Not a whole lot. I would say 20 to 25 percent. Correct. That, that, that's typical because that's why we do two sessions. After the second session, how many, how many, uh, how much relief have you had? Almost all. It's been completely ob obliterated. It feels very good. Yeah, you know, the swelling is almost non-existent. Um, so that's from me feeling it right here. We, we did this under ultrasound guidance. Yes. Video set up right there in the dark lights. So um, again, there's, there's no incision mark. Uh, associated with radio frequency ablation, I just go in the pretty much I burn it at 90 degrees Celsius. So and you did really well. Any any comments about the procedure itself? Was it pretty easy, painless after the injection for the local? The procedure was very simple. Um, it stung a little when I first got the uh, anesthesia injected, but after that it was great, and I had no even no little holes even from the um, injection or the insertion of the needle. So. It was quite comfortable. Now, what kind of symptoms did you have before the radio frequency? Let's say for, for people that are watching about, you know, how, how, what does a, a regrowth neuroma feel like? Or when, in, my foot was at, when my foot was at rest, I really couldn't feel anything. But any time I had pressure on my foot from standing or walking or bending my foot, it felt like a tingly, um, pins and needles, sharp, acute, discomfort and it really prohibited me from doing a lot of the activities I like to do and um, I knew I had to do something because I didn't want to go through the rest of my life feeling that way and I'm on my feet a lot so and obviously uh, a, a redo of surgery that would that would not have been good and then the fact that you regrew your neuroma the chance of you regrowing another neuroma is pretty high yeah. so so I'm glad you did very well we were able to localize that nerve really well as you saw in the ultrasound yes. and uh, we did burn a very well for you. So I'm glad you're doing well. Go on Thank with you. life and go on. Any suggestion for people that have these regrowth neuromas or neuromas? Don't hesitate to come see Dr. Lamb and get a professional opinion because you do have the possibility of having relief. Yes, and you did. I am very. I, I, I remember you had this very thick mass on the bottom of my foot when I touched you. You, you, you were not very happy when we first met. Oh, no. no. Remember that, right? Yes, I pulled my foot away. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I can touch you. I'm meshing that area, moving it around, and physical therapy is also playing with it. You still have a little bit of swelling on top from the actually the trauma of the uh, procedure itself, but you're not feeling much at all. Mm. So, well, congratulations. Go on with life, and I'll see you thank when you, you need so me. Much. Okay. Okay. I hope I don't again, but thank you so much. Well, enjoy your retirement, right? Mm -hmm.